Hello, Joel Blessed here from the Inspired Church and Outreach Ministry. Just wanted to share with you a little life experience that I've had. There was a time in my life where I went through a bout of insomnia. Almost a year of my life where I could not sleep at night. My mind raced and all these different things. It was during a period of my life where I was depressed and, and seeking God and trying to reconnect with the Father back in the early 2000s. And I remember one time being in a store or something and I saw this picture by Picasso and it's called The Rest. And it's something that I longed for. Now, I'm not talking about Picasso the painter. I know the twisted history of this man. But it was something about this image that God used to change the way I was praying for myself. I used to pray to God constantly. God, give me, you know, give me, help me to sleep, help me to sleep. And, and every time I would get so discouraged. And then after a while, I bought one of these paintings and I hung it up in my bedroom back in New Orleans and I would just pray to God for rest. I said, Lord, just give me rest so I can wake up tomorrow and go to work and, and feel rejuvenated. And it just helped me to change the way I saw my circumstance. I wasn't crying out just for sleep anymore. I was just crying out for God's divine work. And I look at this image sometimes. I, I bought one here when I moved here in Denver from, from New Orleans because it, it, it did mean a lot to me from back in the day. And it now hangs in my bedroom here at home. And I still look at it sometimes and I, when I'm tired, when, when I'm weary. And, and praise God, I, I no longer suffer from insomnia, but I know a lot of people do. And maybe it's just restless mind syndrome, as I call it, or whatever it is. But I want to encourage you. I want to pray for you. you know, maybe we need to seek God to just provide what we need. And then the rest will come and then the sleep will come because after my my time with, with insomnia, it was just once I started getting things right with God, once I started lurk, lurk, working with God and, and changing aspects of my life, the sleep did arrive. Now, I know a lot of times insomnia is medical and mental and emotional and all of those different things. But I want to pray for you if you're desiring the rest that God can provide. Because I know the torture that it is not to be able to sleep, to wake up every day and, and to feel drained and, and not feel right in the way that you should. So dear Lord, I lift up everyone who may be struggling with their sleep, Lord. I pray right now for your rest, your comfort, your peace of mind. Stop the minds from churning. Stop, stop the things from going through our minds, Lord. I pray right now for your divine healing, God. You are a healer. You are a God of all things. So Lord, right now, I thank you that those of us and those who are struggling with sleep, Lord, provide the strength, close the eyes, stop the mind, provide the rest that we need, God. That we may be able to wake up and be effective for you and caring for you, dear God. Lord, I thank you for your rest, your divine peace, your divine comfort in this time. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. I don't, I don't know if this was going to reach many of you. I pray you all have peaceful nights, sleeps, and, and things are fine. But I know for me, one of the toughest things that I dealt with was my lack of sleep. Because we wake up in a fog and, and we're never quite clear of, of the situations. And we're not sure how to change it. So I stand with you with the expectation that God is going to work in your life, that God is working in your life, that God is changing your, your sleeping habits, and that, hallelujah, you will be able to close your eyes and have the slumber and wake up re-energized re and, and feel anew every day. I stand with you in this prayer. My friends, if you need the rest, our God is one who can provide it. Seek Him. Trust Him. Keep working on yourselves. Working through the issues. Keep trying to slow down the mind. 
And I know from experience that God will work. God bless you. I love you. Something I had to pray today, something that I've been through myself. And, and I pray if you're struggling with this right now, send me a victory, um, praise report, whatever it is. When you get a good night's sleep, let me know. I love you. God bless you. Have a great day.